Hello dear friends, my name is Mutte Palpola and I am working as a business interim consultant for past 8 years. This is my 8th YouTube video. Today topic is rename files in data lake using Azure Databricks. Currently I am working on a data lake implementation and there I faced a challenge to rename large set of files. And that uh, dump already dumped into a data lake and uh, there are I decided to share my experience the way that I solved this problem because I think it will help you to uh, sort out your problems okay let's go to the scenario okay the scenario is assume that uh, you are you have to uh, extract or dump uh, files from a ERP system into a data lake let's uh, there we are going to use uh, Azure data factory for it let's assume now we are dumping uh, the files into data lake uh, based on this file structure sales and then the year and the month now Because of a, some kind of problem file path problem or any miss uh, misinformation uh, Accidentally data factory Operation dump uh, those files now. Let's say uh, 2016 January files into 2017 January now what you can do so if it's a one file or two files you can just move or rename or do you can do certain operation and you can fix it but if large set of files let's say thousand plus files you can't do a manual operation to do it in there you have to set up a operation now what i'm uh, what i did is i set up a databix uh, operation uh, to rename the, those uh, files large set of files okay let's see how to do it Okay, I already set up a storage account or data lake uh, in my subscription and let's discover it and inside this uh, data lake or the storage account I set up one container called sales inside this container uh, you can see OD line this is a M3 uh, sales uh, invoice line table and inside this folder you can see a year 2020 and inside this 2020 folder you can see 12 files here and out of 12 it's actually uh, for this OD line table it contain uh, 20, uh, 2019 uh, 6 files and 2020 6 files now actually this uh, folder is 2020 now in my scenario I'm going to assume this OD line 2019 is accidentally uh, used a wrong information and uh, dumped 2020 January as 2019 January right now I'm going to rename these six files using uh, Python operation on Databricks okay let's see how to do it okay uh, let's see uh, what kind of uh, methods available to uh, access Azure data lake and uh, do certain operation uh, using Databricks now let's see how to rename file in the Azure data lake using Python now for that uh, searching we will get one this kind of uh, uh, instruction from Microsoft and they are uh, they provided this library the data lake service client library uh, to do this operation now they are they provided certain uh, instruction uh, to follow you can uh, follow these things and I'm going to summarize it and uh, do or try to do a demo uh, to explain easily uh, access data lake and do this rename operation uh, now here I'm going to follow uh, use this connect by using an account key as a storage account key as a actually a direct method to access uh, data lake uh, in that case uh, you need to uh, consider about the security if it is a, a, a production implementation uh, but for this scenario I'm going to uh, use this scenario and if there are any case such a case you can use this uh, Azure Active Directory uh, there you can use this uh, client ID and secret or you can connect uh, you can save that um, credential in a Azure keyword and there you can use that uh, e secret information and you can access data lake that uh, in this case I'm going to use the direct method uh, to use an account key okay uh, let's see how to do it let's go to our uh, data lake sales uh, data lake now sorry m3 uh, sales data lake now here you can see the access keys there are uh, they already provided two access keys for it I'm going to use this first access key 
I copy that one okay that time I'm going to open up my Azure Databricks workspace this is my uh, workspace right off ADB okay let's launch the workspace Okay, uh, we, can, we can open a new uh, notebook, let's say, file, show data lake, uh, default language I set for Python, you see I am going to use Python uh, for this operation, let's create that notebook, okay, this is the code that I uh, take, took from uh, this uh, site, uh, Microsoft site, now here I am going to use uh, Azure storage uh, file data lake or the and I'm going to import uh, data lake service client library and there I have to provide the account name account key and then there I'm going to use that uh, information to connect with uh, Azure data lake okay uh, let's copy the key from here okay here you can go to this access key option and you can copy the key okay let's paste it here and then the account name is my account name the Azure data leak name okay, uh, let's execute this part okay now we had the problem that there are no model name Azure now in this case we need to install this library in our uh, data bricks cluster okay let's see how to do it okay uh, to get more information about this error let's expand this one now uh, here you can see uh, from azure dot storage file data lake import account name and there is no model name azure now here we have to install this uh, uh, library okay let's see how to do it uh, first go to this cluster option and go to the click this cluster and here you can see uh, notebooks libraries and uh, this section click the li library section and here we can install a new library click new library and here I'm going to use this option there are several options that you can install a library I'm going to use the PYPI option and I am going to give the package name okay let's see uh, what information uh, provided for this uh, library now if you uh, search about data lake service client um, in P, uh, pypi org provided some information about it now this is the command that you have to if you want to install it uh, manually uh, i'm not going to do it manually i'm going to give this uh, library name just copy this part and paste here okay install will take a bit time to install this uh, library here okay installation uh, completed uh, let's go to our notebook this is our notebook okay let's try to execute to get again yeah it's executing okay uh, command uh, executed successfully now we established a connection uh, for our data lake m3 sales uh, from azure data bricks now let's implement our python uh, operation to rename uh, the wrong file names okay uh, we already established a connection uh, with azure data lake here and then uh, right let's try to access a uh, few information in available in data lakes about the file information that we want to rename and to do that uh, we already installed this azure storage file data lake package and from that package we can access this service like file client service for it uh, it required two parameters connection string and the file system name connection string you can get it from uh, here the storage account if you go to the access key area here you can see connection string just copy it and paste here uh, actually I set a variable for it and I use this use that variable for as a parameter first parameter and second one is the file system name file system name is your 
container name now here your container name is sales okay now let's try to uh, execute this part and from that uh, object now once we uh, pass two parameters it will create a, a object called file system from file system object you can get the paths available in that container okay let's execute this part okay you can see od line and then the od line folder under that only line for 2020 year and there you can see 2019 january to 2019 june these are the set of files that we want to re rename and these are the corrected correct files 2020 june july to december right okay uh, let's try to uh, rename a file one file this uh, let's take this uh, file 2019 january file and try to rename okay let's try to rename this file now it's 2019 01 we are going to uh, rename it as 2021 okay for that one i am going to use this uh, code now here you can see this dsc dsc is that one uh, object that we create uh, to open a connection to azure data lake to do the rename operation right and there i'm going to use this object and then i'm going to uh, call get file client uh, the struct, uh, file structure information from azure data lake uh, there it required two parameters one is uh, sales then the file path the original file that we want we want to rename now the original file is uh body line 2019-01 and then i'm going to use that method that get some information from it and i'm going to append uh, the path uh, with uh, the new name for that file now here you can see this is the audit line 2020 this is the four, two folders right and then i'm going to set the new name for 2020-01 right and there i'm going to use, after that i'm going to use uh, this object and call the rename file operation and then i'm going to i'm pass i'm going to pass the destination uh, path or the information that we want to rename that file okay okay let's execute this one okay it's completed okay let's see it's changed or not in data lake that there i'm going to use this uh, file system uh, this method uh, that i already explained to view the uh, data lake container information okay now it's gone 2001 uh, in this output you can see the first uh, as the first file as 2019-01 january file but right now it gone let's see it's there yeah, okay yes it's renamed there's no 2019-01 okay let's access our uh, entry sales container and see how it looks like go to storage explorer then container and then sales od line folder 2020 okay you can see it's renamed right okay okay now we rename a one single file now if we have thousand plus file you can't do this you can change or you can hard code and you can rename right you can't every time you can't uh, hard code here and rename that you have to use some kind of iteration operation uh, to uh, rename all those files okay let's see how to do it okay i uh, renamed uh, to 2020 january file uh, to uh, 2019-01 again uh, because I want to uh, do some iteration operation through this all these uh, six files and uh, do the rename operation Okay, uh, let's move on to our Databricks uh, Notebook and here I'm going to uh, first thing that we need to uh, create a list or the data frame uh, to get the information that uh, to rename the files Now there we want what are the files that we want to rename now for that one. We know that already we have uh, in this case we assumed that we put 
2019 January to 2019 June file six files uh, with a wrong name into 2020 uh, year folder right now here I set the wrong year month uh, list uh, 201901 to 209006 and the corrected that uh, what uh, values that we want to use that we want to replace this uh, wrong uh, name right 2020 january 01 to 2020 june or 06 now th those are the two lists and i'm using two lists and i create a, a data frame using panda library okay let's execute this one okay uh, let's view uh, that data frame Let's type display dfn. Okay, here you can see the wrong uh, year month and the correct correct year month, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Now we can use this list and we can do some iteration operation and we can rename the file. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, data frame and I'm going to uh, iterate each through each row. Now for that one I am going to use four uh, loop. Uh, then I'm going to use the index. Now we can have the six rows. Now see, index is six. Now from each by row, uh, each row by row, it will execute and uh, it will go and it will uh, check uh, use that information and it will rename the file in data lake. Now here I am going to uh, assign a uh, wrong file month, year month into a one variable and the correct year month into a one variable and there I am going to use that information and I am going to amend that information into the, our file paths. Now, now here our file system, now we are, we are going to use uh, this get file client to get the file system name and the uh, folder structure and also to call this rename file operation and then i'm going to use the hard-coded value for sales and the file path here i'm going to use this parameter the wrong year month and then i'm going to use uh, CF, cym this parameter as the corrected correct year month value and then i'm going to print the target path and then i'm going to rename call the rename operation okay let's execute this part Okay, it's executed. Okay, let's uh, view uh, the what happened in uh, Azure Data Lake. Okay, now you can see any 2019 files available in this data lake. Now the rename operation is completed. We actually rename six files. Now it's completed. Okay, let's uh, move to the, our data lake and let's refresh this one. Okay, it's renamed completely renamed. There's no more 2019 Now you can use this method and you can uh, do this operation operation and also you can use the uh, other information also. You can use uh, file folder names and uh, also the file system names and you can do this operation and if there is something you want to fix or rename, sometimes you will. Uh, because of some errors you will uh, you will get uh, wrong file names in the data lake uh, if you want to correct them you can use this method and do it it, it easily okay okay uh, from this video you will learn how to install data lake service client package on databricks and how to open a connection with data lakes using uh, data lake service client and file system client services and how to do a rename operation for large set of files uh, i think this will help you to uh, sort out your problems if you have if you face any kind of uh, this uh, file issues file name issues it will help you and uh, this will help you to sort out okay thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video thank you again